Hello everyone, my name is uh, Helen Rost and I will give a presentation about TerraMatch. TerraMatch is a software for uh, adjustment of point clouds and also for quality control of point clouds. TerraMatch can be used for different purposes. One is to calibrate your scanner system. Another one is to do strip adjustment of multiple flight lines or drive paths. In TerraMatch you can process different types of LiDAR data. You can process airborne LiDAR, mobile LiDAR, LiDAR captured by drone or handheld LiDAR data. Calibrating a mobile system is often quite complex. Uh, the calibration means that you do correction on misalignment angles and maybe also lever arms. Often on a mo mobile system you have uh, multiple laser scanners mounted on the platform in different directions. To solve for the misalignment and offsets you need to do uh, multiple uh, drive passes in different directions and capture different types of objects. And from that data you can solve uh, the uh, calibration parameters for that system. This is an example where control points are used for adjusting position in the LIDAR data. Mobile data often have uh, GNSS errors due to occlusions on the ground and the control points can be used for fitting the LiDAR data and adjusting for shifts and drifts. So these measurements can be automatically collected in the LiDAR data if you know how the signal market looks like. Um, and uh, by using these measurements you can uh, create an adjustment curve which takes care of the shifts and drifts of the GNSS position errors. To cover a larger area we often use multiple flight lines or dry passes. The overlap between these lines or dry passes should fit perfectly to, to each other and should be free from mismatches. TerraMatch is used for analyzing these overlap areas. It can be used for making uh, observations in the overlap areas and make adjustments to data to create a homogeneous data set. This is an example of observations automatically collected in the data. Uh, you have several options to collect uh, observations. In this case, we use something we call surface lines, which is actually small patches of surfaces where you find the slope direction and you compare the different flight lines or dry passes in this spot to see if there are any mismatches. So you collect data all over the area and to the right you see a table with all the observations where you can also see the mismatch in elevation and horizontally. When you have collected the observations you can make further analysis. For example you can choose to display only the largest mismatches which you can see to the left. You can also go to the detailed view to look at each observation individually to see if it looks like a good observation or a bad observation uh, to see what kind of mismatches you have in the data set. After collecting a number of observations you can search for correction values in the data. Uh, when uh, you solve for the uh, corrections, you get a report 
with some statistics and also an overview of all the corrections made. Um, the corrections can be saved and later on applied on data, both on the observations and on the actual LIDAR point, and also on the trajectories if you need to. After the adjustment, uh, the goal is to get a homogeneous laser point cloud. TerraMatch and TerraScan offers a number of tools to create reports. You can make a color-coded picture of the mismatches. You can also make statistical reports. You can make statistical statistical reports of the mismatches or the control points. There are a number of different observations you can make in the overlap zones. You can uh, look at uh, vertical walls, you can find rooftop intersections, sloping surfaces, you can uh, measure XY points, for example, building corners or poles. You can find road paintings, for example, painted road marks as lines or corners of a painted road mark. You can measure uh, set points on the surfaces. All these in combination can be used for finding the corrections you need to do on the data. As mentioned, you can use signal markers as control points for adjusting the data. These signal markers you can define yourself in the software so that you can make a picture of how the signal marker looks like and then you start the automatic search for finding these signal markers in the LiDAR point cloud. These measurements can be used for adjusting the point cloud to the control points in the area. For elevation control, you can use uh, points on flat ground. Either you have scattered points over the area or you have groups of points at one spot. These uh, observations can be collected automatically and you can choose how to adjust your data to these control points. Instead of control points you can choose to measure control lines. This could be helpful, uh, for example, for roads where you often have painted lines along the road. These control lines could be used to fit the data in one direction along the road. You also have the option to use objects as control points. In this case, you have poles in the Airborne LiDAR dataset which you want to use as control to fit the mobile data, data set. For doing that, you need to group the LiDAR points that belong to the actual poles. And uh, by finding corresponding group in the airborne and mobile LiDAR data set, you create a number of observations that can be used for adjusting the mobile data to the airborne data. There is also another option to fit one point cloud to the other point cloud without using groups and that is to find vertical walls and flat ground to create observations. In this case the mobile data is fit to the airborne data by finding common vertical and horizontal surfaces. These observations can then be used for adjusting the mobile data. To summarize, there are mainly three different applications where TerraMatch can help you improve the, the geometric accuracy. One is for calibrating your system. 
One is for making strip adjustment to make sure you get a homogeneous point cloud where you have multiple lines or data captures. One is for typical corridor projects where you want to make fluctuating corrections along the object. As mentioned, TerraMatch can be used to handle not only one data source, but many different data sources. You, can, you may have data from airborne, from mobile systems, from drones, or from handheld LiDAR systems. So TerraMatch is a tool where you can verify the quality of the point cloud. You can make adjustments, you can analyze the geometric quality, you can create reports, you can merge several data sets. And you can verify the quality and be sure that the data is good when starting creating products from the point cloud. Thank you very much for your attention. If you need more information, you can go to our homepage or look at our presentations at YouTube. Uh, you can also send us an email if you have specific questions. Thank you. Goodbye.